Hey, how's it going? Uh, today we're gonna go over how to draw a kind of a tall pumpkin, okay? We're gonna draw many different kinds, but we're gonna draw a tall one right now. Let's get started, okay? I'm gonna go right here. By the way, it's for beginners, step by step. So I'm gonna go over here and start with a curve for the pumpkin. Right, a pretty long, tall curve. Oh, man, my markers are dying out. Hold on, let me. There we go, this marker is a little better, I think. And from here, I'm gonna go toward the top, kind of put like, I don't know, like an M shape or something over here. Curl over here to the side. Down. Right on. Gonna go right here, curve down for kind of like uh, the striation of the pumpkin. Same thing over here, right down, down. And I'm gonna find the actual bottom of it now. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna curve. I want it to have like an underbite. And I think that looks really cool to do that. Zigzag right here. Zigzag right here, zigzag right here, zigzag, zigzag down. Curve over here, curve over here, curve over here, curve over here, curve, curve. And curve around the corner here, and now you have the bottom part of that pumpkin right there. He's kind of like got like a like again that underbite. I think it just looks kind of cool to do that. <sighs> Don't forget, if you love Halloween drawings, hit the like button. Uh, also, absolutely hit the subscribe if you love Halloween stuff. I'm gonna be posting simple Halloween drawing lessons the entire Halloween season. Okay, uh, you don't want to miss out on that. So let's go over here, and I'm gonna curve down. Go over here. Curve up, down over here, line over here. Go over here on this side, line, okay. So we have the two eyes like that. And I like the way it angles downward because you want to have that kind of like evil, kind of demonic look. I just think that look is really cool. And let's go over here and draw the nose. I'm going to go up, down, line underneath. Cool. So now let's give this, let's give it some dimension now, right? Uh, well, first things first, sorry. Uh, let's go over here and draw the stem. Up, down, line, line, line. Thinner lines right there to have the striations of the actual stem. Uh, I'm going to go over here and draw a line underneath, line underneath line underneath. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it out. Line right there. And I'm going to fill this in as well because this is the pit, right? And this is the thickness of the actual, you know, vegetable. So this is the thickness of it. This is the pit in there where the light isn't reaching it. Um, so just kind of remember that. Don't forget if you want to represent Halloween drawings, uh, we got stickers in the store. Go check that out on uh, sketchingeasy.com. Go check out the store. I'll link it uh, below. A lot of cool stickers right there. Line, line, curve over here. Again, so these lines I'm throwing in there for striation, they're thinner than the outside lines. Uh, the reason for that is because they should be detailed, meaning they kind of disappear if you squint, you know, they, they're really not there for, uh, they're, they're, they're only there really for that, you know. Let's go over here on this side, down, I'm giving a thickness to the outside layer here, down over here, right? Like think about when you, I mean, I'm sure you've pumpkin carved, hopefully, right here, and there's always this, like, thickness of the uh, the vegetable right there. Now I'm going to do illustrations on the bottom here. So same thing. Line right there. Line right here. 
not going to fully curve it. Right on, right on, right on, okay? So, doing pretty good. Uh, I think it's looking very well now. Uh, has this kind of detailed-ish look. You can even throw another of these thin lines right here along the edge. And I want to go over something with you as far as that is concerned. It's it's very um, cool to kind of add your own personal stuff to it um, because this is all like our thing. Obviously, we're following a lesson, but we're doing personal stuff too. So if you want to throw like a bird on top, throw a moon in the back. But right now what I'm going to do, and I want you to do this too, is to throw a thicker line around the outside of the character because I think it just kind of closes it in and makes it a little bit more um, like unified to throw a thick line out there, like around the outside only. Um, also, don't forget, check out the playlist section of this stuff if you like, again, if you like drawing Halloween stuff, and if you're here at this point, I'm sure you do, um, check out the playlist section. Go to the page over here and check out playlists. You're going to see all kinds of stuff. Um, because, for example, there's different ways to draw a jack-o'-lantern. So many different ways to draw that. Um, absolutely do that. Okay, like, there's so many different styles. And I go over a bunch. And if you have any, recommend them. Um, but because there's so many different styles, uh, there, there's it's, it's kind of endless, the fun that you can have with this stuff. So what else can we add to this? Um, like I said, you can add anything you want. Moon, little cat on top. Maybe it looks like a like a like, like a tiny cat. Maybe it'll really give scale to this guy. Throw some grass on the side. Uh, there's so many things you can do to this, and I hope you do it as well. But for me, uh, I'm gonna add some grass over here. Just kind of zigzagging, like it's just sitting there. Woo! Right on. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I will talk to you very, very soon uh, and reach out to me. I'm very easy to reach uh, and share the video because it's really good for the channel, spreads the growth of knowledge out there. And like I said, it just brings people back here that are amazing. I'm very, very happy for the Halloween season. Okay. See ya.